Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. So in this video, we are going to create a table where we are going to start the, the user and we are going to create a repository and a service to authenticate against the user saved in the database. So before we start, we have to create a new uh, class here in the, our domain. Let's go exactly the same way we did for the Spring Boot Essentials training, uh, Dev Dojo user. So just remember that when we are uh, using R2DBC, there is still no support to generate the table, but we are going to add here the table and let's call this table that dojo underscore user. Since we are using Lombok, we can add some stuff here. For example, add data, all args constructor, um, no args constructor. I don't think we need all of that, uh, well, but let's yeah, I think we only need these two. We are not going to use builder or with for now. So let's add some attributes. Remember that when we are working with Spring Security, we need to implement user details. And uh, now we are going to override this uh, method. And um, we have to generate some information here. For example, at ID, private integer ID, and then private string name, private string username, private string password, and private string authorities. Okay, so we can start with the authorities. When we execute this get authorities, we would like uh, this method to return. And we can get uh, an arrays and we can use a string from authorities dot get, uh, not get, uh, split. Because we are going to add the authorities like role underscore user, comma, role underscore adding, and so on. So just split by uh, using comma. And then we are going to map and we are going to return simple granted authority. And we are going to return a list of this guy. Okay, so we have here get password, get username, just delete because Lombok will take care of that for the add data. And we are not to use any business logic. We are just going to tell that this account is not expired, is not locked, is not expired, and account is enabled true. Okay, so looks like we have everything that we need for this one. So user details is a class from uh, Spring Security Core. And uh, we are ready to create our table. So we can come here to IntelliJ or any anything that you're using to access your database and we are going to create a new table. So basically the table will be exactly like we have here. It will be called devdojo underscore user and then the first one will be ID, not new, auto increment, unique, primary key and then the second one will be name. You can give this for char uh, 255 255 not 255 and uh, username so username not no uh, and unique we can also give the name here um, not no but we're not going to generate any controller we're going to insert the data directly into the database so it's not a big problem and bar chart I wanted to, yeah I think that's enough for a username and then Password, same thing. We can get this one 150 because we are going to encrypt. Not null. And to finish, authorities. We can give a pressure 100. Also, not null. Cool. Now that we have this information, let's just execute. We have the DevDojo user. So let's stop this video for now. In the next one, we are going to continue by creating a repository and the service. So see you there. Bye.